for our second reaction today where we're learning about stoichiometry. We're going to be looking at uh, where we're given the mass of one substance and it wants us to find the formula units of another. So not always will it be a gram to gram kind of problem. So let's check this one out. If you're reacting magnesium with aluminum chloride, you can't forget about your reaction information that you guys already know. So we'd have to predict our products. This is a single displacement reaction where that magnesium is going to kick out the aluminum to form magnesium with chloride. Now when you look on your periodic table, magnesium's plus two, chloride's minus one. So that makes MgCl2. The aluminum is going to get kicked out by itself over here. And then we'd have to balance our reaction overall. So it looks like our chlorines are out of whack. We could fix that with a two here and a three here. And then we'd need a three and a two. Now that we have that written, it says if we're given 90 grams of magnesium, how many formula units of aluminum chloride would you need to complete the reaction without having any leftovers? And then it wants to point something out to you here. It says something important to note. You don't have to compare a reactant to a product for a stoichiometry problem to work. You can compare reactants to other reactants, products to other products, or reactants to products. There's, there's no requirement that you have to compare something from the left-hand side of the reaction with something from the right-hand side. You can compare anything to anything else. So we're going to start with our 90 grams of magnesium. And our flow chart tells us that we have to get those 90 grams of magnesium grams into moles. And the way you get from grams to moles is by using the molar mass on the periodic table. So we would have to look up the molar mass of magnesium on the periodic table. It's about 24.3 grams per mole. So I'm going to take that 24.3 and put it on the bottom so that way my grams and grams can cancel out. And the one mole part of that conversion factor is going to go on the top. Well, now I'm at the second box of my four box flow chart. I'm at moles of my original substance. Now I need to get to moles of my other substance. And the way I'm going to link those guys together is by looking at my balanced equation. So you look at where am I now and where am I trying to go? Well, you're at magnesium now. So here's magnesium. And we're trying to get to aluminum chloride at the end of this problem. So we want the aluminum chloride ratio here. So it's a 3 to 2. I'm going to put the 3 on the bottom because that's the number that goes with the magnesium. And that's the number I'm trying to, the unit I'm trying to get rid of. And I'm going to put the 2 part of that aluminum chloride up at the top. So now I'm in the third box of my three, four black flow chart there. We're at moles of the other substance. Now we have to get that guy into some amount, particles, liters, grams. We have to see what is it asking for. Well, it's asking us to figure out formula units, which is a type of particle. So the particle to mole conversion factor that you guys know is that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd number. So we're going to use that to get us from moles to formula units. I'm going to put the one mole part down here on the bottom and the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units can go up on the top and now everything's going to cancel except for those formula units. Grams of magnesium go away, moles of magnesium, moles of aluminum chloride, we're just left with those formula units. So we multiply across and find our answer. We would get 1.49 times 10 to the 24th formula units of aluminum chloride. 